Warner Brothers actively prevented Henry Cavill's Superman return. Today in this video, I tell you Superman really return in Black Adam. Warner Brothers Discovery is working diligently to get the DC Extended Universe back on track after a roller coaster ride over almost the past decade, and unfortunately, much of that more recent past has been without one of the most important characters in the entire DC catalog, Henry Cavill's Superman. Although he starred in the first two DCEU movies as the Man of Steel, Cavill hasn't been seen in canon since 2017's disastrous theatrical cut of Justice League, which doesn't include reshoots for 2021's Zack Snyder's Justice League on HBO Max, but since then he hasn't been called back to don the blue suit and red cape for another round of action Warner Brothers has even gone so far as to use a stand-in for his character at the end of 2019's Shazam, while rumors have pointed to him being included in this year's Black Adam. Fans are outraged over Superman's extended absence from the DCU with no signs pointing to when he'll be a key player in the story again, and according to a recent rumored viewers now know who was responsible for that decision being made, Warner Brothers held back on Cavill's Superman, speaking on the Black Adam press tour. Dwayne Johnson discussed the change in leadership at Warner Brothers Discovery. Johnson noted that his main goal with Black Adam was that it takes care of the fans, confirming how it took six full years to fully convince Warner Brothers and DC Films to bring back Henry Cavill's Superman back into the DC Extended Universe. Notably, Johnson indicated how the studio's old leadership kept saying no to Cavill's superheroic return. The studio's new regime is what allowed Black Adam to usher in a new era in the DC Universe and paint a bright future for Cavill's Superman. Between 2018 and now, there have been four different chair people running the company, Kevin Sujihara and Sarnoff, Michael DeLuca, and Pamela Abdi, the latter two of which are the current co-chairpersons as of April 2022. Based on Johnson's comments, the Warner Brothers regime under Tsujihara and Sarnoff didn't allow for Cavill's Superman to return, while the Luka and Abdi were part of the team who gave the okay. Will The Rock get Superman back for a character-slash-portrayal combination as widely popular as Henry Cavill's Superman? It seems to be a cinematic crime that he hasn't been seen for so long within the DCU, particularly with the actor wanting to play the role again in the future. There seems to be no good reason why Warner Brothers has kept Cavill out of the blue and red suit for such a long time. Dwayne Johnson himself has lamented Warner Brothers' handling of Superman within the DCU, putting it bluntly by saying that he's been on the sidelines for too long. And as rumors point to the Man of Steel finally coming back in some form during Black Adam, it seems right that The Rock is the one to potentially make fans' wishes come true with regard to Superman for the time being. Should Superman actually be included in any part of Black Adam, it will remain a mystery until the movie fully releases in a few days. But the anticipation of bringing Cavill's Clark Kent back in action already has fans waiting to see what actually comes to fruition. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment and subscribe this channel.